Well, tomorrow is World Obesity Day, and it's a day to help find ways to end the problem. Yeah, but COVID, of course, has only made things worse, especially for kids out there. According to the CDC, the percentage of obese children and teens rose from 19% pre-pandemic to 22%. And there's never been a jump that size since the CDC started tracking this in 1970. Well, so Michelle Levy, she's the founder of Zing Kids, <laughs> has made it her mission to help kids incorporate movement and mindfulness into their lives and she's joining us today to talk about ways to teach kids to feel physically and mentally strong first of all thank you for being here thank you for having me i'm so happy to be here all right so we want to just talk about physical activity how much physical activity should kids be getting and you say this should happen every day yeah kids should be getting active 60 minutes of activity every single day. It doesn't have to be all at once. It could be sprinkled in throughout the day. So they can be doing an activity in the morning before school, after school, in school. All that doesn't have to be all at once. Just like how adults, we wanna get little bits of activity as much as we can. So it's really important for kids to stay active, especially with everything going on through the pandemic. We want kids to feel healthy and strong. And that's what's really important. Oh, wow, it sure is. Well, we know it's not always easy getting kids to be active. So we want to give parents out there five moves that kids can do to reduce their BMI. So talk a little bit about that. Yes. So five of my favorite moves I'm going to share today are moves that anyone could do anywhere. And what I love about them is that they help kids to feel really good. So if they do even just one of these moves, you are going to want to keep moving all day long, which is the key to feeling healthy, especially these days. And at Zing, we fuse positive affirmations into all of our exercises. So you might hear me say some really happy words like you are amazing in them, but I encourage everyone to try them with me as I demonstrate some of them. So our first move that we are going to do are superstar squats. Okay. Right, so these are full body moves, okay? We have superstar squats. I'm gonna step back a little bit if you wanna join. So you're gonna squat down low and put your arms up really big and say, I am a superstar. So we could try that again. <laughs> so we're gonna go down, I, you should join me, and say, I am a superstar. I am a superstar. And, yeah. And it makes you, you smile, know, right? Right. Yeah, and then you're like, oh, I could do this. This is great. And you get to work your legs, your heart, you feel your heart start pumping, you get your arms out there. So kids could be doing that while they're brushing their teeth in the morning. It's super fun. I also recommend Rockstar Jacks. So these are like your job, your jumping jacks that we all know and love, but turned up a notch. So you kind of get low a little bit. So you get to really fire up your strong leg muscles and then you jump up and saying, I'm a rock star is the key part. You say one, two, three, I'm a rock star. And you jump up <laughs> so high. As you can tell, kids love jumping. They want to feel good. It shouldn't be, exercise shouldn't be something that they feel like they have to do. It's right. something that we get to do to right. feel good. So we automatically tell them they feel like a rock star. I also recommend doing some skaters. Mm -hmm. So you step to one side and you leap side to side oh, like good. If, yeah these are fun it works your brain too so if kids get into school it feels good if they want to take it up a notch you can step up and turn it into a party like <laughs> turn up some music make it fun oh yeah so it's a great <laughs> time and I also love crisscross jacks so right. you start with your hands crossed and you flex and make a muscle so you go in <laughs> and flex so for us it's all about feeling so confident in who you are right. and right now there's a lot of change going on i know you were just talking about the mask rules and feeling should i wear one should i not and this is a great way to say you can feel good you can feel strong your heart gets pumping and you can do anything and my last move are powerful planks. So we all know what a plank is. We put our hands out, you can lean forward, you can hold the floor, lean on the wall, a table near you, work your whole body, squeeze all of your muscles, and you can have kids say, I am powerful. And so they feel really powerful in their bodies. And if you have kids doing this, parents watching, do it with them, make it a family activity. It's super fun for all. You know, it's exercising your confidence, too. And by the way, Michelle, we would have gone along with all those, but we're on a platform <laughs> right now, and neither we one of us want to fall we off can and do heal. That we that you no, no, We no. got that one. There we go. So we're actively, we're actively with you. Uh, thank you so much for being with us. Appreciate it. Hope uh, parents got some, of those, got some of those down so they can <laughs> practice them with their kids. Good to see you. You too. I'll see you soon.